Hi, it's Mark Tucker here from the Yara UK Agronomy team. Just thought it was worth another quick agronomy chat. We're out here today um, in crop of wheat, obviously looking a lot better now for the recent rains that we've had. Um, so it's generated more growth, more biomass that we know is all important for yield. Um, it's now clearly looking very healthy as well because it's taken up that nitrogen and sulfur that we've applied. Um, the other nutrient, just by way of thinking about um, the health of the leaf and the keeping it greener for longer, then magnesium is a critical one there to look out for. So when you're sending off samples, look for the results back and ensure that there's a sufficiency of magnesium in the crop. But of course, once we get past this stage where we've got the flag leaf coming out, we're then going to move into um, the booting of the crop, then the ear will come and flowering will start. And really that's when we want to try and get the grain set um, up and across the ear right. The nutrients involved there that we should be focusing on um, are uh, principally copper, zinc and boron. Uh, the latter there, boron, has been um, much discussion so far because um, a lot of samples are coming in showing deficiency. Some of the uh, issues that are raised have been uh, the critical value that's used. Well, that itself actually varies by growth stage. So early on in the uh, vegetative stage, then there's much less requirement for it. So critical values are much lower. But as the crop then moves through its um, growth stages and to this time of year now, when it's sort of heading towards flowering and grain set, then the demand really does peak. And um, it's one nutrient that at this time of the year really does go in, get in high demand. Um, so the critical values internally in the plant change again. This isn't really reflected any in any of the analysis that's done because there's really not enough detail to pinpoint the, the exact ones. We're working towards that hopefully. Um, but that's why there's a bit of a discrepancy out there when it comes to which critical value to use. All we can say is that it really is an important nutrient. You won't see symptoms on the leaf. It's one of those that doesn't express itself through chlorosis as such, but you'll um, it's more internal damage that happens with poor pollination, um, florets, which ultimately become grains, um, are aborted and uh, obviously the grain numbers per ear then suffer because of that. And that can be 10, 15% sort of uh, down, so all of that going to knock yield. So yeah, really think about boron. The other one with boron actually just to mention is the, um, the toxicity. That's been highlighted a few times by people but it is just really critical to, to know that all nutrients can actually have a toxic effect if we overdo them so boron can be just that bit more sensitive but the sensitivity tends to come with boron when we're applying higher rates which those higher rates are kilograms per hectare of boron to the soil and we then get sensitivity to that boron particularly at the young root tips or any new root tips that's they're the most sensitive so when we're talking this time of year, then that really doesn't become um, relevant because now we're talking about 75 grams a hectare applied through the leaf um, through formulated bore track. So yeah, really don't have too many concerns over that toxicity. It's, um, it's an important nutrient. We need to maximize grain set, so consider putting it into that program. So we've mentioned there a number of nutrients, there's magnesium, zinc, copper, boron, um, all things to think about getting into this timing now, which is the sort of T2 and T3 timing. Look on the website for product details, but one sort of combination to highlight, which has been proved very successful um, and is a nice mix to go with, is the Gramatrel at a litre per hectare. Um, and the Yara Vita bore track at half a litre a hectare. So that would be a nice mix at this time of year to be putting into that tank and uh, to really maximise the, the grain set and uh, finish off the crop as it heads towards um, harvest. So uh, hopefully that helps, bit of guidance there, look on the website and uh, look out for more chats from us in the Yara UK agronomy team. Okay, bye.